Defining the way to decorate cookies in this 2024. Hi everyone, welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. In this video, you will see how I decorated these cookies using three different techniques. But first, if you're new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button. And let's get started. If you are a beginner in cookie decorating, sometimes you might feel a little overwhelmed on watching so many different styles of decorating cookies. Each cookie decorator has its own way to decorate cookies and you might even become with your own unique style to decorate cookies. One thing that will be super helpful for you is to answer this question. What is my purpose to decorate cookies? The answer could be that you want to learn something new, that you want to sell cookies, or you are just looking for a mindful activity. Meanwhile, you watch this video, try to find the answer. We'll get back to this at the end of the video. Here I have my three freshly baked cookies. For the cookie on the left, I am going to start by using the traditional cookie decorating technique. Here I have a medium consistency icing with the decorating tip number 1.5 and I am going to start by outlining the circle. And now I am going to cover it with writing consistency icing. Now I'm going to give it a shake to this cookie and pop some air bubbles. For the second cookie I am going to use just one icing consistency and it's going to be the magic consistency icing and I am going to put it in a tipless pastry bag. First I make a very small cut and I am going to outline the cookie. Now I am going to make another cut to my pastry bag so more icing can come out of it. And if you are going to decorate a lot of cookies, you can do two pastry bags with the same icing consistency or you can start first by outlining all the cookies and then fill them up with the icing. I'm going to be making some circles but leaving some space in between each of them. Now I am going to use a spatula to even out the icing. And this is just using one consistency and using a tipless pastry bag. So this is the second one and for the third one this is just covering the cookie with your spatula putting the icing on top and this is magic consistency icing as well and I have to mention that some cookie designs may require for you to stick to the traditional way of decorating cookies and some other designs you can use the three of these techniques and this is a very good way to decorate cookies with scallops like this one so you can go all the way out of your cookie. And here you have three different ways on how to decorate a cookie and I'm going to let them dry and you can see the finished look of each of them. Very good, my cookies are completely dry. As you can see, they are very nice and they look so pretty. And if you saw the beginning of this video, I used three different techniques on how to cover the cookie with the royal icing. In the first one, I used a medium consistency icing that I put in a pastry bag with the decorating tip number 1.5 and I covered it with flooding consistency icing. This is the traditional way on how to decorate cookies when you are a beginner. And for this second one, I use only one consistency of icing that is a magic consistency icing that I like to use. But I put it in a pastry bag and first I outline it and then I cover the cookie, okay? You can see that they look almost the same. They look very similar. And for this cookie, I only use magic consistency icing and I just cover the cookie using a spatula and also it looks very, very nice. The layer of icing looks very thin. In this one, you spend less time and less money to make. Now let's see how they look side by side. In this cookie, the icing is a little bit thicker and you can barely see the medium consistency icing outline but it looks very, very different than this one. 
this one is the one that I just covered with the icing and the icing is a thinner layer and obviously these kind of cookies are going to have less calories now let's compare this one to this one they look about the same but the one in the right you spend less time and money to make now let's compare these other two they are about the same but also the one on the right has less icing one of the purposes of outlining the cookies is to define how thick your icing on the top is going to be for example if you outline your cookie with a decorating tip number three or four that the opening is bigger compared to the 1.5 the layer of icing that you're going to put on top is going to be thicker so also the thickness of the icing on your cookies is part of defining the style you decorate cookies I am curious to know what is your purpose to decorate cookies. If you want to share it, please leave it in the comments of this video. Knowing your purpose is going to let you define the way that you are going to decorate cookies. And I am very sure that in your cookie decorating journey, you're going to come up with your own unique way on decorating cookies. So I hope that while you watch this video, you can find the way that you would like to start decorating your cookies if you're new. And if you already know how to decorate cookies, maybe this is going to help you to find a different way to decorate cookies. Obviously the ones that have less icing, they're going to have less calories and you're going to spend less time and also less money to make them if you are planning on selling them. And the ones that have uh, two icing consistencies, they are more intricate and you're going to spend a little more time making them. So if you're going to sell them, they're going to be a little more pricey and also they're going to have more icing and a little more calories. Okay guys, this is it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.